Hey guys, how's it going? We've had a lot of questions around the 72, a lot of interest. How big is it? What's in it? How many pieces? We thought we'd answer as many questions as we can today and do a little unboxing for you. So when you get the uh, 72, it comes in a box like this. It has some very useful directions like this. A bunch of stuff that you probably won't read, but maybe should. Want to open it up? Sure, let's crack it open. All right, got some scissors here. Cut my hand off. If you do, we have a first aid kit. First aid kit oh. there is a tape is really good, so you should actually get it and show it up. Don't trust him with scissors. Why don't you pop that out there? All right. Here it is. 72. So. Comes in some plastic here. Six inches by 12 inches by 18 inches. This is the dimensions of this thing. 1300 uh, cubic inches when it is folded up like this. When it's totally open, you can get up to 1500 cubic inches. It's made out of 600D uh, coated tarpaulin. So it's waterproof, it's welded. Uh, this thing will float you if you want. Um, Look on the back here, we've got a, chest str a sternum strap with an emergency whistle on it. Blow that. <laughs> Alert people. You've got zippers on the side here that will fit an iPhone 6 plus or bigger. Um, we've got our logo embroidered in here. The reason we did that is it allows a little airflow in here to keep your back from getting too sweaty. Uh, got a, <clears throat> some, a yeah. flashlight strap here. Pop a little flashlight in there while you're walking so it's hands free. Got a water bottle kit, water bottle holder. Holder. We have some extra little loops here in case you want to attach anything else to the bag, as well as a waterproof pocket to fit documents in. And that's about it. The, the logo also is reflective. So one of the things you'll notice is a lot of survival kits, a lot of 72 hour kits are bright red. They say first aid or emergency or something on them. You know, if you're in a crowd of people where supplies are limited, it kind of makes you a target. So we wanted to make something that would blend in, but at the same time provide safety. So at night, you're walking along, the car headlight hits this logo, it's gonna reflect back and provide you some visibility uh, in situations like that. What do you say, should we open it up? Yeah. Uh, roll top construction, obviously roll tops are pretty common, but the beauty of this is it does seal and if you just roll this tight, you can see now there's a bunch of air inside here, this thing stays super airtight. On the top, we like to put instructions everywhere we can. Um, we've got things printed on both sides. You know, one of the things that people always think about is like, oh, I need food and water. The first thing you actually need is air. So we want to remind people, hey, air, shelter, water, food. That's a priorities if you're in a situation and it's kind of one last reminder before you go inside. On the back, uh, one of our favorite sayings, slow is smooth and smooth is fast. Just a nice reminder, take a breath, calm down. Make the right decisions, don't rush into anything and, and make a bigger problem out of what you're already in. You reach in, you hold on to the handles and pull out the insert, which looks much like this. All right, so when you pull the insert out, as you can see, it actually works as a backpack as well, so that you can use the shell for carrying other stuff, carrying a child, any sort of, anything you need really. Yeah, if you have one kit and two people, you wanna carry more supplies, you know, Mike can wear this, I can wear this and fill this up with, with extra clothes or extra food or, or water, whatever you want. So, doubles your capacity immediately. The water bottle slides right out of here like this. Let me see that water outside. bottle once, I wanna show them something on here. Okay. We made this about as dummy proof as possible. We have instructions printed on here, it's probably hard to see, but it literally says, drink one serving of purified water every six hours, and then we have the servings marked on here. So never wonder if you're getting too much, too little. It's all there, it's all foolproof. All you gotta do is follow the instructions. Speaking of instructions, on the outside here, we have a list of instructions that cor corresponds to everything that's in the bag based on the color of the pocket that it goes to. So there's black pockets, red pockets, blue pockets, and some other useful info. And it really does make it easy because a lot of times you get the stuff and you pour it out and you're like, I really don't know how much food I need to eat because there isn't that much there. So do I, I'm hungry, let me just eat it all. So it'll give you an idea of what you should be doing, how you should be doing it, and when you should be doing it. Unclip it here. 
You can open this up like this. There we go. And now everything's kind of organized and nice and neat for you. Yeah, this is one of the, I think, unique features about our kit. You know, if you buy a backpack with a bunch of pockets, you still don't know what's in those pockets a lot of times. We see plenty of survival kits that just have a bunch of stuff in one main compartment. If you're trying to find that one tool and you dump all your stuff on the ground looking for it, it's costing you time, it's making your stuff messy, it's unorganized. What we did is we put everything in pockets according to need and color coordinated like Mike had mentioned earlier. So you've got food, you've got your water filter, you've got your tools, your air and vision. Warmth, first aid, a number of different sort of tools and electronics. So I think we should go through every pocket on here. Okay. Um, also, we inside we do have a zipper pocket here that you could hide medicine, not hide, but you could store medicine, money. or little small items, money, things like that. And also, when this is closed up and the water bottle is out and on the outside of your pack, you have enough room for an extra pair of shoes here, as well as you can shove a jacket and things like that that'll fit in top, in the top if you uh, don't quite roll it all the way down. So where do you want to start? Uh, let's start with the food. Okay. Everybody likes food. So what we've got in here is, uh, is Daytrex. This is like US Coast Guard food. Um, there's 2,400 calories in here. So this is cut up into a bunch of little bars. We have instructions on the outside telling you how much to eat and how often. It tastes kind of like a sugar cookie, uh, really dense fat carbohydrates. It's what you want when uh, supplies are limited. It, it's gonna keep you going. You know, one of the things is you can go three weeks without food. But for your brain to really operate, it needs to be fed, you need to have fats, and eating this is gonna make you make better decisions and have a much better time out there. Item one. What's next? Water filter. One of the things we did was uh, worked with brands that were really trusted. Um, this is a Sawyer water filter. Sawyer's a pretty well-known brand in this space. Um, in this little pocket, there's a, a bunch of different things. You've got not only the water filter, which is called the Sawyer Mini, but you've got a bladder to collect water in and filter through. Fill it up in any sort of puddle, river, stream, anything. Yep. And then you screw this on like so, correct? Correct. Screw it on. Basically, just turn it upside down, squeeze it out into your water bottle. Syringe, nozzle to clean. This is also really good if you've got a wound or something, you want to spray it out with water. So this is kind of a multi-use thing right here, but all in the water filter system. There. Or, or even if you, found a water source that you can't quite get to. Yeah. Maybe it's in a deep little crack and you can suction it out. A lot of, lot of uses. And this will filter more water than you can actually drink in your entire life, correct? 100,000 gallons. Yeah. Uh, people ask a lot about uh, water filtration versus water purification. What I can tell you is um, in the United States, in most first world countries, that's all you need. There are a few, a few places in Africa where there are different pathogens that will get through that but for a majority of the world, um, you can basically drink out of any water source after it's gone through that thing. I'm gonna go through warmth next? Sure. All right. Open the pocket of warmth. We got a lot of stuff in here. Yep. First out is a standard emergency blanket. Yeah. That has literally 100 uses, which you will see soon. Check our other video out for that. Yeah. One interesting thing about that, people wonder where that stuff comes from. People think it's kind of a, uh, don't take it too serious. Yeah, they don't. But the reality is those things were designed by NASA. So that saved a bunch of food up on the space station. That technology and that same technology is here now. What it does is it reflects infrared heat back at your body. So if you're cold already, it's not going to work. But if you're warm, it keeps all of your warmth in and prohibits you from losing any more. This can also be worked inversely. You see that ours is orange on the outside. Uh, you put the orange part towards your body in hot weather and it'll actually deflect heat away. So you can be used to stay cooler or get warmer. Next up, we have pretty much some, some gloves. Standard leather gloves. Standard leather gloves, which, you know, pretty much the two things I can guarantee with all the traveling I've done that you do not want to screw up when you're in an emergency situation are your hands and your feet, because those are the things you're going to use the most. So gloves are super important and probably more useful than you'd you think. We have your standard hand warmers. Right. Two of those. Put those inside the blanket and create heat and keep it in. We have a beanie, or as you Canadians say, a toque, which also can be, this can be cut off and used as a fire starter. So that's pretty useful. And we have another, is this Mylar? Yes. Another Mylar tent. It's much like the uh, emergency blanket, but it's connected sort of in a triangle tent and you can lace it up between two structures and get out of the wind and sun even more. 
Again, a million uses for that thing. All right, uh, Air Vision, so if you're here. So in here, we've got a few things. Um, first, simply, we've got some glow sticks. Um, you'll notice in here, as we get through this, there's a few different ways to create light. We have redundancies for some of the most important things, one of them being light. These will last up to eight hours. So if you're somewhere for the night, don't wanna be in the total darkness, crack one of these, it's gonna save your batteries and whatnot, and you're gonna have plenty of, of light coming out of these. These are military grade, they're really good quality ones. Um, pretty standard goggles. Uh, you know, Mike mentioned hands and feet. I would add eyes to that list. Uh, we picked these because they will fit over glasses. So if you have a prescription, you don't have to take those off to protect your eyes. You can put these right over top. Um, they're really high quality, almost like lab goggles, but they're gonna protect your eyes from wind, sand, smoke, smoke basically anything coming at you. And um, we think these are a pretty critical piece in the kit. The last thing in this pocket is an RZ mask. It's a, it's a filtration mask. This will filter 99.9% .9 of everything in the air. Uh, it has an extra filter in it, it's sealed, it's ready to go. This size will fit literally any face except maybe like an infant. Um, like yours, Christian. <clears throat> you have an infant face. <laughs> face like a baby. I thought you were saying I had a baby. I'm like, I, 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 no, you have an infant face. Okay, my baby face still fits in this one. Um, very simply, just goes on. It's got two filters in it. When you breathe out, the filter's open to let your, your, your air flow out, and when you come in, it closes and filters on the way in. So you can breathe really easy if you're moving, if you're running. These are actually designed by a bunch of guys that spend a lot of time in the desert riding dirt bikes, uh, ATVs, and things like that. So they're made for high performance, and they're the best quality we found. All right, next up. Let's see, let's do this pocket, tools. This, isn't, this one's interesting. Let's see what I pull out first. All right, first off, so it's 100 feet. 100 feet. 100 feet of paracord, paracord? Correct. And this is pretty much super strong. You can do anything with this. This will, this I think will go a long ways. It, you can do everything from tying things up, carrying things, pulling things, making sure nothing because we're setting your tent up, setting a bunch ton of other kinds of shelters up. One of my favorite things about the paracord, the reason we made it red is, let's say you're somewhere and you don't know where you're going. It's very common for people to not walk in a straight line and get totally lost. We have enough paracord here, you can cut it off, mark your path at eye level, and have a breadcrumb trail back so you don't get further and further away from, from being rescued. Or if you have kids that have just, they've had it with this situation, you tie one end to your belt and the other end to them and let them just be 100 feet away, which I'm telling you, every parent knows what I'm talking about. What's in there now? We have a second uh, water bladder. Just in case you get somewhere, you've got a great water source, but you know you can't stay there. You have the ability to fill your water bottle, that bladder and then this bladder as well, just giving you more capacity. It fits on with the, uh, with the Sawyer water filter. It's designed that, it's, it's a Sawyer brand. And just another way to carry more water, which is always, always great. Here, here. Oh, all right. We've also got a knife. Does this come out of here? Yeah, all right, knife. Let's take it out of the plastic here so you can see it. I'm just gonna cut it right out because that's what they're for. It's also got a flint starter, so you can, well, there we go. No? For you, it is. Oh, okay. Oh, this, all right. This is a shovel slash pickaxe. And let's see if I can put this together first try. Goes here, then screws into this. You got a hard time. There you go. Ready, tighty, Mike. Yeah. That never made sense to me. So we got here, so right here we have a shovel. You tighten this down. And you got a shovel, you can dig. You need to dig little holes, maybe you have to take Good. You also can flip it this way, and you've got a pickaxe. Tighten this up. Yeah, I think you can hang on things, stop yourself, help yourself going down mountains, cliffs, whatever else you need to really dig a hole of any sort. Here you go. Well, there is a bottle opener on here. If I hang out with you long enough, I might have to have a beer, so we got that right there. Yeah, let's put this over here. Last in the pocket, duct tape. Because there's like literally a million uses for duct tape. I was gonna say a billion, but again, bright orange, visibility. You want to breadcrumb your way out of something or just you know take somebody's mouth and like i said again yes in case <laughs> your partner will stop complaining what's next first aid. first aid okay here we go all right we got your normal antibacterial wipes great for just making sure your hands are clean one thing you want to do is make sure that you don't get or don't get sick or use get, make yourself put yourself in any more danger than you need to be and those sort of things go a long way plus I've tried it, these things feel 
perfect on your butt. Hold that. Yeah, this is the best toilet paper in the world. Another thing, simple as sunscreen. It's pretty self-explanatory. And why don't you go through this? All right, we've got a first aid kit with over 30 pieces in it. I think you guys have seen first aid kits. I'll just open this up so you can see on the other screen here. But opens up, uh, you've got gauze, you've got bandages, you've got a little scissors, you have the tweezers, you have safety pins, um, a lot of different stuff in here just to create, just to take care of, you know, minor wounds you might come across while you're on the field. All right. That's okay, everything inside there. No, we're not, we're, we're, we're not done oh, yet. Oh, no, we're not. I'm sorry. Jeez, man, <laughs> jump on the gun. All right, why don't you tell me about this, because it's pretty cool. Yeah, this is great. This is an Eaton, Eaton uh, emergency AM FM radio. It also has a flashlight built in and it's a USB charger. So one of the things we tell people in the instructions you get with the bag is make sure you put in the right cable for your cell phone. Everybody has different adapters. We're not gonna include that and try to guess what you have. But putting it in there and simply cranking and you've got unlimited power for your cell phone. Nobody wants to be without that. You've got an unlimited light source with the flashlight and you've got unlimited you know, communication hearing what's going on. Um, really makes a big difference in, in, in stressful situations like this. This thing is uh, highly water resistant. Uh, it can actually be submerged for a little bit of time. I wouldn't go swimming with it, but if you're in the rain or whatever, you're gonna be fine with this thing. It has a USB cord with it, but again, you wanna bring the right one for your cell phone. All right, next up we got pretty standard flashlight here, but this flashlight has a little clip that'll fit lock you right into the, the, the uh, hands-free holders on your straps. It's also 100% waterproof. Mm -hmm. Got that? It's got a uh, strobe mode, a high beam mode, a low mode, and then you can also adjust the beam to go wide or narrow. Um, these things last a long time, sometimes too long. Okay, next. All right. We've just got sort of a, another sort of a redundancy, some matches, waterproof matches. Waterproof matches, these things really spark up. So uh, treat these with caution actually. This is not a normal match, this is an emergency match. It's like a little mini flare. There's about 30 of them in here. And we got a little multi-tool. that just has your sort of run-of-the-mill, you know, pliers, knives, screwdrivers, I think. Yep. Right, files. You know, sort of to get those little jobs done, like your nails. One of the things we wanted to, we wanted to uh, put in the kit that we couldn't is uh, some Bic lighters. We found out we can't ship flammable liquids. Uh, chuck that up to you. But there are rookies. spaces for them. But there are spaces for them. So we also recommend you throw a couple Bic lighters in there. We did a lot of research. You can buy a $100 lighter. You can add alcohol. That stuff evaporates. The Bics are super durable. They're super trusted. And the best guys we know are like, just get a couple Bics. That's all I use. So that's our recommendation. So that's everything in the insert, but right. the insert itself has some other features. You open up the panels, if you notice this is hard, we put some panels in this side and that side to sort of give it some rigidity so it keeps shape, but we also have these plastic panels here. Come out, you see they got holes drilled in them. These will actually, with your paracord, you can mock up an arm sling which is pretty useful. You can also do that with your leg if you needed. And what else can we do with that? You gonna give me my foot up here or what? How yeah. do I do this? These holes, the closest ones, are actually designed so you put your foot in the middle, you can loop, loop around your foot and it turns into a snowshoe. So you get stranded somewhere, you've gotta go through some, some fields, like making your foot about six times wider is gonna give you more float and help you get some more faster with less energy. So pretty nice little feature we built in there too. Which you can use this thing for everything too. Like let's say you are, in the snow or something, you can dig with this. You can clean any sort of surface up with it. You can scrape with it. There's two of them in there. If let's say you had to drag somebody behind you, you could lace two of these up together long ways and it almost makes it almost like a little gurney. And you could attach it to attach it around your waist and you could drag people out of somewhere if you needed. There's a lot of uses for these, some of which you just gotta get creative on your own, but I have to say there's more than we can think of. Is that everything? I think that's it, man. Anything else? No, I think I'd like to like to let people know it's, you know, they ask how much it weighs, 11.5 pounds. Um, I like to compare that to like kind of a normal backpack with a laptop and a, and a charger in there. It's pretty light, it's pretty small, fits or a, really well. Or a chubby baby, like a really chubby baby. Like newborn or like a couple months old? No, like a chubby newborn. Oh, that's a big baby. Yeah, that's like a honey baked ham. <laughs> <laughs> um, so that's it, hope you enjoyed this. Uh, please check out our other videos. 
Uh, we're gonna break this stuff down and go through each piece individually. And some, some of our other products, we got some fun stuff we're showing you too. So, thank you. Bye.